Hi guys and welcome back to another RTR Imperium Serectum update video and this time we're going to be showing off the beautiful new Epirate unit. Epirus with a sneak preview of some of the Salukas. I can't wait to show you these units again guys so thank you again to the mod team for allowing me this sneak preview of the mod once again. If you do enjoy this video, there is a video out already on the Macedonian units and on the new map, so check those out along with my Sparta and Carthage campaigns for the mod so far. Anyway guys, without further ado, let's get into the battle map and let's have a look and a bit of a review of some of these stunning new units. I'll see you in a second guys. So guys, here we are. From the Seleucid ranks, our little sneak preview of the Seleucids, the next video that's coming, um, into looking at the glorious Epirates over here. So, without further ado guys, let's uh, have a look at some of the new units, and we'll go through them in each block. We'll go through infantry first. So, we start with the three units that are already part of the roster. These uh, lovely Deuteroi over here. If we take a look at them, we can see all the um, the unit cards have been remodeled as well, guys. So brand new unit cards as well. That's one thing to note. The Deuteroi, a solid phalanx unit, a solid mid to low tier phalanx unit. That's got to do a um, reasonable amount of damage. A 16 melee attack for a phalanx unit is not bad at all. It's just that morale of 10 that makes me worry about these guys with morale shocks slightly. But 32 defense is pretty decent. So you're sort of a lower tier of a phalanx unit down here but look at these guys once again looking at the designs and the different variations across them all i just love the officers although for some reason this guy is holding a uh, antigonid banner but i think that's just a holdover from the mod or maybe that's something that's uh, specifically for it but i do absolutely love these officers looking absolutely stunning and i love the purple color i love purple purple is uh, one of my favorite colors so i'm gonna love it if it's in purple but once again guys look at the unit variation that's in here all the different units sporting something different different helms Different shields, many of them sporting the sigil of Epirus, as well as Greek writing and other sigils that you would see in the ancient world. Absolutely stunning once again. These lovely uh, Deuteroi. There they are. Now we get to have a look at these Greek Oplites. And honestly, I love these guys. I love the size of their shields. Um, and how stunning they really are. How many times are going to say stunning and beautiful in this video, guys? Leave your comments down, prediction-wise, <laughs> down below. But uh, it's, it's true. They are just fantastic. Look at them, and once again, you can see the amount of detail that has gone into this. We zoom right in here. Look at the detail on this. And the shading there, in the shade, you can see the, the literal threads of their linothorax that is just crazy guys and the threads down here as well like the amount of detail and work that has gone into this guys is crazy but these are your greek hoplites so morale of 13 melee attack of 13 melee, melee attack of 13 total defense of 36 solid flanking unit potentially not something you want to hold the line with when you have other options such as the deuteroi uh but they are a decent mid-tier unit. Reasonably heavy spearmen. Going to do very well against cavalry. So you want to get these guys into cavalry fights as much as you can. Less so against sword-wielding infantry, of course. Now, on to the Theroporoi. And once again, looking very nice indeed. With a large shield and pretty large spear, honestly. Pretty decently sized spear. That is a big spear. Um, but yeah... Very, very uh, cool unit once again, and another sort of lower tier to mid tier unit with a 35 defense, 13 morale. But the, the difference with these guys, they send out two um, Javis before charging with 14 missile attacks. Pretty decent, guys. That's going to do some serious damage, especially if that's into a phalanx or into the side of an armored unit. You're going to do a lot of damage with these boys firing their Javis before charging in. Of course, melee attack only of 12, um, but it's not too bad. 13 morale. As I say, a mid-tier unit. And once again, looking very nice. I like these guys with the plumes on the helm. They're, they're, they're very nice helms to see. 
very good. And I like these details on these ones as well, the sort of swirl. Very cool indeed. Now, guys, let's get on to the new infantry units that have been added. And we have the Epirot Pez Heteroi. Right. <laughs> I'm saying it right, I think. Pez Heteroi. Okay, there we are. Saying it probably right, anyway. And look at the colours on this. The purple, again, as I say, I love anything that's purple. But look at the colours. If we go behind, you can really see the variation. It's the same for any unit. You can see the different variants of each unit. But if we come behind these guys, it's especially obvious with the different coloured capes. And the different coloured helms and designs. Very, very good to see these guys once again. And these shields are even more detailed than some of the previous ones. I mean, that one is obscenely detailed. That is fantastic. But fantastic looking unit once again, guys. Stunning unit. There, I said it again. I said stunning once again, guys. Just because this unit is absolutely awesome. Awesome to look at. Um, I was look actually looking at the uh, Ambrokio, but these guys are very, very elite, guys. They are extremely elite phalangites. 45 defense, 21 morale, 20 melee attack for a phalanx unit. Extremely strong. 30 of which of their defense is defense skill. So even with arm, uh, armor piercing units, they're going to do extremely well. Nine armor as well. So against uh, missiles with six shields. So against missiles, they'll do fantastic as well. These guys are just a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant unit. They don't inspire nearby troops. That's the only thing they're lacking as an elite unit. But everything else as a phalangite unit is fantastic. They are stunningly good. Very good unit. If you can get those... After the reforms, get training them as quick as you can. So let's move on to a more mid-tier phalan phalanx unit, the uh, Ambracciote Phalangites. So <laughs> I might have said that completely wrong again, guys. But you can see again, um, distinct shields, distinct helms. Very, very beautiful looking unit. Obviously not quite as interesting to look at as the elite units, but that's because they are lower tier. And you can see that in the armor. And you can see that in their design. They're designed to look less high tier than these guys, and they do. They don't have the capes, um, so that's one thing. Not all capes uh, are for superheroes, of course, but these guys are pretty much your superheroes of your army. But very, very nice to see this unit. A good, decent mid-tier unit. You can see 15 morale, Decent morale, not amazing, but decent. Very good morale. Uh, not very good, sorry. Good morale. Uh, melee attack of 18, which again is really, really good. 36 defense, which is decent. 22 of which is defense skill. 7 shield and 7 armor, so they shouldn't die to missiles too quickly. Um, and defense skill of 22, so they'll stick in the fight for very long. They're a, they're a very good mid-tier unit. Not quite the beastly stats of these uh, Pez Hetairoi, but very good indeed. A good mid-tier unit. Then we come on to the Chionian, Chionian Agama. These guys, and look at these guys. <laughs> do they look badass or do they look badass? They look, they look brutally strong. This guy, he look at his eyes. He is ready to go. He looks like he's seen some shit, guys. Um, but yeah, very, very cool looking unit. I love the uh, I love the pink on the shield. Very nice with the different designs around it. And once again, as an elite unit, they're wearing capes, guys. They're wearing capes. I love a good cape. Good distinctor of what your elite units are going to be. The ones with the capes, guys. The ones with the capes. Um, anyway, their stats are really good once again. There's a solid spearman unit. They're not a phalanx unit. Uh, but 18 morale, really good. Melee attack of 14 and ult attack of 13. So it doesn't matter whether they fight with their spears or with their little swords in the scabbard there. But total defense of 42 is excellent. 8 armor, 6 shield, 28 defense skill. So these guys are really the ones you want to put on your flank. Ready to fight cavalry or to flank around enemy phalanxes. Because you will be fighting phalanxes quite a lot in this. And we also have the Athamian Peltas, a brand new unit as well. These guys are a light infantry unit that have six, uh, six javis to throw of 11 missile attack with actually pretty decent melee stats, guys. Honestly, I think these guys are an awesome hybrid unit. A very, very strong hybrid unit, honestly. 
12 melee attack for a hybrid unit is really good. And 31 defense for a hybrid unit is awesome. It's almost as much as the Deuteroy there with 32. And these guys fire Javis. They don't, they don't form Phalanx, however. But a very decent unit. And this, this unit might actually, if I was playing as Epirus, convert me into... Uh, into recruiting Javi units if I had this unit at my disposal. You can see the sickle shield there as well for their Javis to throw over. Very nice indeed. And again, looking awesome. Looking really cool. Um, really cool again. But look at the stats, guys. That is, that is a really, really decent hybrid unit. And I'm, I'm, just, uh, I'm just happy to see a really good hybrid unit in there. Um, and a decent Javi unit that's not going to die. Talking of Javi units that are going to die, <laughs> let's move on to uh, some of our missile units, guys. And we have the Greek Slingers. I believe we saw them in the Macedonian one last time. Absolutely uh, just terrible if they're, if they're in any form of combat that's not firing their missiles, guys. Terrible if they're getting fired at. So they're pretty much your lowest tier of unit. Uh, that you're going to get these Greek Slingers. But they do have a missile range of 140, which is slightly more than your Greek Archers there. And they have more missiles as well. So uh, they might do more damage than these uh, Greek Archers. And as you can see, they're designed to represent uh, the tier of unit that they are, of course. Onto the Greek Archers, which we saw again before, guys. Four morale. What are the Greek Slingers? Three morale. So remember that, guys, these... This low morale, they basically will rout if an enemy army, if an enemy unit touches them. So be careful with your missile troops, guys. These four morale is, is not good. Nine defense, one of which is armor. So they're going to just die if they get fired at. Uh, melee attack of six. Missile attack of ten is decent. How, what are the uh, slingers on? Seven. So no, the Greek archers will do better than the slingers, even with the less missiles and more range. I would be recruiting these guys. Um over the Greek Slingers every day. But if you need to recruit the Slingers, you can do. They still will do a job defending and doing a job on a battlefield. Just try not to get them hit by anything, including missiles. So these Greek Archers, again, decent, solid Archer unit. Now we have the Uzonoi. Pretty nice uh, Javi unit as well. Nine missile attack, six ammo, 21 defense, six shield, uh, 13 defense skill. Obviously, you don't want these guys in combat with that low morale. Um, but again, looking very nice. Different designs on the shield. More simplistic designs. These guys get two armor. So that uh, re is represented by that helm that they have up there. But again, if they get hit by anything other... Uh, if they get hit by a couple of arrows, they will die. Because they have combined an eight defense against arrows, armor, and shield. Uh, but of course... Yeah, they will get damaged by missiles quite a bit, but they'll do a decent amount of damage with their Javis. Same thing with the uh, Acontisti, the other new unit um, of the missile troops. Uh, 12 defense, 6 morale, bit uh, less elite version of the Uzonoi. So another one that uh, fits its look, really, when you look at them. You know, look like they've just come off the farm and... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they probably fight like that as well, guys. So um, if you want a nice Javi unit, you can use these guys. I'm sure they're pretty cheap and pretty throwaway units. But the best option you have available, of course, is the Athamian, Athamanian Peltasts, if I get that right. Um, decent hybrid unit. Very good hybrid unit, in fact. Best hybrid unit I've seen for a while, so fantastic to see. Now, guys, let's move on to the old cavalry. So, across here, we have a couple of units that have been added into this roster. So, we have the Aspidophori, which I believe we saw for Macedon as well. Um, and these guys are a, another hybrid unit, a hybrid cavalry unit, really. They've got a 9 missile attack, and they have a 7 or 8 javelins to throw. I believe they all have 8, if they have officers in their core... Yeah, they've got... No, they, they get uh, they get seven. Seven, yeah, of course. 420 into 60, that's seven. So they're more of an irregular unit rather than a regular combat unit. But they're a pretty decent hybrid unit. You think 420 javelins doing nine damage each is a pretty decent 
amount of damage you can do that. Obviously not every da javelin lands. And then on top of that, a defense of 24 and a charge of 24 with a melee attack of 11 and morale of 13 so they won't just rout as soon as you charge them. They're a good hybrid unit to use. Very nice indeed. And of course, if we look at the look of them, looking very cool. I love these really long lances that they get access to. And again, you can see the giant amount of uh, variation in these units, guys. Really, the amount of detail and attention to detail that's gone into these units is crazy. Is absolutely crazy. It's it's so nice to see. Um, now, let's look at the Molossian Agama. Yes, the elite boys. The elites of the unit. This guy's looking over his shoulder, seeing his men behind him, knowing that they will fight to the death because they are an absolutely beastly unit. Um, they are an absolutely brilliant cavalry unit, guys. 43 charge, fantastic. 27 defense, which isn't as good as, say, a general's bodyguard, but it's good enough for your troops to charge in, fight for a couple of seconds, char come out, charge again, and use that 43 charge as much as possible. And again, love the bronze uh, Linothorax here, the bronze armor on the torso of these men. And silver one as well, silver colored one as well. Again, the attention to detail in all of this, guys, is just crazy. No stirrups, as you can see. I believe, were the stirrups invented by the Celts, am I right? Or was it the uh, Scythians? Someone needs to comment down below where the stirrups came from and when they came into full use in combat. Uh, but imagine charging into battle, guys, on a horse, without stirrups, and getting your spear into someone, that's... That's crazy skill right there, honestly. But these guys, again, look fantastic. And you can tell that they're the elites just by looking at them. That's what I like about this mod and their elite troops. When you look at an elite unit, you know it's elite instantly. It's fantastic. So, morale of 18, brilliant. Melee attack of 15, very good for a cavalry unit. Again, that 43 charge, extremely strong cavalry unit there, guys. Now, let's have a look. At the Zistophoroi, another pretty medium tier, decent cavalry unit. Not quite the uh, Molossian Agama, but very close. A decent mid tier heavy cavalry unit. And again, looking very nice. Oh, look at this boyo. He looks absolutely. He looks ready to go. <laughs> he looks ready to go. Look at him. Oh, yes. What a boy. <laughs> oh, yes. Brilliant. But you can see, again, the detail that's gone into these guys. Fantastic. And a very good unit. 25 uh, defense. 36 charge again. Fantastic. 16 morale. Very good. Melee attack of 13. So these guys, again, really good on the charge. And you can tell with their huge lances. And once again, looking absolutely stunning. Ah, nice. Nice uh, bit of plumage there. And uh, so we've got the Prodromoi as well, guys. So these guys are a missile cavalry unit. Uh, so probably your lower tier missile cavalry, if we look at the Theroperoi, who are also your missile cavalry. So your lowest tier of cavalry, guys. Light cavalry, three armor. As you can tell by looking at them, they have no armor apart from their helms. Some of them don't even have helms. They will fire their javies. Nine missile attack, pretty standard for a cavalry javelry. Uh, cavalry javelry. A, <laughs> a cav That's what I'm going to call... Uh, Javelin Cavalry from now on. This Cavalry Javelry unit, um, pretty standard 9 missile attack. 7 missiles, 27 charge, not too bad. But I would be worried about charging them in with that low morale of 9 and only 12 total defense. You don't want these guys hit by archers or missiles at all either with their low armor and no shield. So let's come on to the Theroperoi Cavalry. And as we can see, lovely shield action going on over here. Once again, low armor, three armor, but six shield on these guys. So a lot stronger against archers and missiles. But once again, that low armor represented by their very distinct lack of armor on their bodies. Very distinct lack of armor. But they are a lot better than the Prodromoi here. 17 total defense, pretty okay. Uh, charge of 30. Morale of 13, so they're not going to just uh, route on the charge as well. And 10 melee attack, not too bad. Standard 9 missile attack with uh, 7 javies as well. So, I'd say pretty decent um, decent javelin cavalry, the Theroperoid cavalry. Um, the Prodromoi, of course, your lowest tier. 
But then your cavalry wise, in terms of your melee cavalry, Zista Foroi, pretty decent. Aspido Foroi, also pretty decent hybrid unit. And the Molossian Agama, excellent, excellent cavalry. So the final three we have, guys, are the sort of um, AOR units, the mercenary AOR units that you can get in certain regions. Uh, we have the Illyrian Skirmishers. We're not going to spend a huge amount of time on these guys because they are AOR units. Um, the Mercenary Illyrian Skirmishers, a pretty decent Javi slash hybrid light infantry unit. Uh, similar stats to the Peltas, but not quite as good. Then we have the Illyrian Spearmen. Again, they fire Javis. Pretty decent. 15 morale, 33 defense, and 12 melee attack. Not too bad. How is that compared to the Greek Hoplites? No, they're not quite as good as the Greek Hoplites. So get the Greek Hoplites if you can. Bit more morale, so they will last a bit longer. But if you're winning, that doesn't really matter too much, does it? And then we have the Mercenary Phalangites. Decent mid-tier Phalangite with 36 defense. And these guys have actually got a nice upgrade in the way they look. I'm pretty sure this is all new skins. I don't remember them looking like this before. And I love the bronze shields there. Some serious detail gone into that again. Fantastic looking. Very nice indeed. So guys, let me know what you think of these new units. Once again, looking stunning. Um, and we'll fight this battle against the Seleucids. Uh, just to finish off with, uh, as I say, once again, a fantastic update to the unit roster of Epirus. Very nice to see. Very fantastic to see, really. Um, and we'll uh, do this battle. So leave your comments below if you don't want to watch the battle. That's absolutely fine. Um, we will uh, continue. What was that then? There were some lines going up the, uh, the road. Uh, but yeah, we'll fight this battle, guys. And then uh, we'll finish off the video. Um, but I hope you enjoyed it anyway. I hope you enjoyed the various uh, new units that are on offer for uh, this uh, lovely, fantastic nation of Epirus. And I bet you can't wait to see the Seleucids. That one's going to be longer because the Seleucid roster is massive, guys. It is massive, as it should be, because their empire spans cultures, it spans nations, it spans a long, long way. So, um, that will be the one that we bring out next. It will be the Seleucids. So, we'll get our uh, missile cav together. And, in fact, what we'll do is we'll go after the Ellies with that. Look at them. We'll have a sneak preview of some of these Seleucid units moving. Here they come. Oh, look at those boys. Look at these guys. Very nice indeed. Oh, fantastic. Fantastic, guys. Fantastic. And uh, we'll get our missile cab across there. Where's our general's bodyguard? Up there. Now, uh, do we... Why don't we just go after them? They're, they're just out there doing nothing. Cool. And, yeah. Get you guys. Let's try and get those Ellies. That's the only thing I want to do right now. Get rid of those Ellies. Oh, they've, they've messed up, look. Oh, they're already broken. Into the Greek archers then, boys. So, if I hold down space, I can see the, uh, the thing so we can tell whether they're routing or not. Silly, silly. Oh, come on. The elite cavalry. Let's go. Riding with the cavalry. Okay, that charge wasn't the greatest, but we might break them anyway. And I'm, I'm willing to stick in there. Until they do break. Okay, no. It's going to be a bit too long now. We're starting to lose boyos. So let's go. Okay. So ideally we should be firing at those elephants. Oh, the Aspido 4, I don't have a skirmish mode. I didn't realize that. So I might have just ruined them a little bit. Their whole cavalry is coming after us here. Kill that general's bodyguard. I'm gonna have to micromanage these boys. So how are we doing over here? Get into them. Right, infantry. Let's uh move forward a bit and we'll move you boys forward as well and then over here how are we doing uh, the Greek bodyguards come uh, that's right at the edge of the map 
Everyone just get in there. Stop firing. And I want you to fire the rest of your things at the Ellie's. Kill this general's bodyguard. Kill him. Now, how are we uh, doing over here? Where's me cav gone? Ah, oh, there you are. Let's get back down. Let's get on the side of the hill. Nice boys. Doing well. Oh, now they've brought the Prodromoy in. You can see the uh, our Prodromoy has uh, routed. Come on, cavalry. This is it, boys. We broke them. Right, now your job is to fire those javis at them. I don't care what else happens, whether you die, whether you win, whether you lose. It does not matter to me. What matters to me is you killing. Right, oh, God. Ellie's are coming around this way, boys. It's not good. They're going after my uh, cavalry. I'm, I'm not, honestly, not too bothered by that. So what we're going to do is come around this way. Okay, we did get charged and we lost that cav. That was fine, though. I'm not too bothered by that. I just want to kill these elephants. Gonna come over this way, so to see whether I can kill those elephants. All right, turn around, boys. Phalangites. What are those? Agrispides swordsmen. Can you? F okay, it's time for the Ellies. Time to kill the Ellies, boys. One of them's dying. That's fine. Oh God, no cavalry. <laughs> Sorry, cavalry. You're very important to me right now, and I can't afford to lose you. Okay, who are you? Ah, uh, yes, a hybrid unit. Now let's get the Agama in there. Oh no, these guys are gonna die. Yeah, they've broken. Let's get the Agama in there. They're spearmen. They should be able to deal with the Seleucid general. Ah, uh, it's the cataphracts as well, boys. That's the problem. That's the problem we have right now. Off, get you all off that. Ah, oh, we're getting. As I say, I didn't think we were going to win. The Seleucid, the Seleucid roster is very good. And they have elephants. No, oh, we're getting... We're going to get shredded here. Oh, they've all broken. Yeah, unfortunately, we die. We die. Today is the day we die, my friends. I'm going to turn these back on. So I can see what's going on. I know it's less... Uh... Let's get them... Get them. Oh. My gallant general. Which one was he? Which one was he in? I can't remember which one I put him in. Because the Epirates haven't actually been killed. Uh, oh, that's their general. Is their Theroporite. So my general must have been the Athamians. Uh, right, let's get them. You guys can fight those Greek Hoplites. You guys fire. Yeah, that is the general, the Athamians. Both of you turn that way. So we can kill that Thorakitai. Where are you going? Fight those Hippastists. Um, okay, well that's a bit of a blob that we don't really want. You get out. Fire on them. If you can engage them, that would be brilliant. I don't think we win here. They've still got a load of elephants. Okay, one of our units has, has routed. I don't know why, though. Seems a strange old route. So if we can engage that phalanx, we can charge it in the back. It's Chalcospides. You guys, let's uh, kill that Theroporite. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Ah, oh, now they've broken. God damn it. I'll kill them. Now let's come around. Let's come this way. Oh, who uh, who am I dealing with? The uh, These guys. Ideally, fire your last jabbies off at them. They've got a lot of troops left, the Seleucids. I don't think we win. Yeah, look how much troops they've got left. They've just got a powerful, powerful... Oh, God, no, guys, they've broken. Everyone's broken. 
all at once. They saw one person breaking and they decided it's time for them to break. So let's get our final charge off and then we'll uh, get the hell out of dodge. Oh, we got smashed. We got smashed, boys. We got smashed. Uh, who have we got left? We've just got you guys and you guys. But it was... Uh, uh, the elephants, that's why. Because we charged near the elephants, they got scared as hell. But it was to show off the new units, and you can see them fighting with these Hibastis. Very cool. <sighs> Look at this. Just beautiful. Even though it is... <laughs> beautiful in a game, anyway. Uh, who are you? Uh, whatever. Uh, do do one thing and get rid of this Acontis type. These uh, Chione and Agama, they are just forever fighting. Oh no, they're now the bro. <laughs> Commentator's curse, eh guys? I think it was the elephants again. The elephants were just too scary. But guys, so thank you for watching guys. It's been a pleasure as always. Uh, please do like and subscribe. It really does help the channel. And as I say, check out my Sparta campaign, my Carthaginian campaign, and my other videos on this new update to RTR Imperium Serectum. That would be amazing. Um, and leave your comments down below of what you think of these beautiful new Epirate units. Thank you very much, guys, for watching. And I'll see you again on the next video.